I have something to say about hope. I left South Africa to avoid serving in the apartheid military. And on the night before I knew I had to leave, I went up a small mountain called Signal Hill on my 50cc motorbike. I looked over Cape Town, which I believe is the most beautiful city in the world. And I thought, this is the last time I will ever see it. And yet, four and a half years later, the ANC was unbanned. Mandela and others out of prison. So I remain an optimist, even in the very lowest moments, and this is a very, very low moment. And I think of Riva, my uh, dear departed friend and Labour Party comrade, and everything that Riva stood for, the way she lived her life, her clear-headed courage is anathema to the current Labour Party. She received her letter in August and though she had a lot of breathing difficulties, she read back a reply to me, a psychotherapist to the end. Honestly, this frenzy of purging you are driven to, it's not the behaviour of mature adults. It smacks of desperation, fear and panic. Is it really us? A quite reasonable group of democratic socialist citizens that cause you such deep-seated and even pathological insecurity? <laughs> and we laughed. And by September, she decided she wasn't going to be kept alive artificially. And she would tell the doctors that she wished to die. And on the Sunday, she wrote to us all to tell us that on the Monday, she'd be passing away. And the fact that she did this, that she wrote to all of us at such a time, gave a sense of an individual so brave and so principled. So when we reply to our letters and continue to work for real principles of anti-racism, we do so in Riva's honour and to honour the life that she lived. 